This case paved the way for the law of negligence in the common law world. In the 1840s, the Chester and Hollyhead Railway was commissioned to develop a railway line from London to Hollyhead, which is the closest ferry port to Dublin in Ireland. The idea was to make travel between Dublin and London much quicker and easier. As part of this development, in 1846, a rail bridge was built over the River Dee, just near the city of Chester. In 1847, though, as a train was passing over it, the bridge failed and the train was lost. Five people were killed. The plaintiff, Grote, according to the case report, was greatly cut, wounded and bruised. He sued for damages in what was called an action on the case. This was a type of catch-all tort where a party was suing for something which wasn't quite an assault or a trespass and which wasn't quite a breach of contract and yet which still seemed like the sort of wrong conduct which should result in compensation. You see, he couldn't sue the Chester and Hollyhead Railway Company directly for breach of contract because he was actually travelling on a train owned by another railway company which had paid for the right to use the railway line. The matter went to a jury and the jury found for the injured plaintiff. The matter was appealed on a technical point regarding the instructions given to the jury. Interestingly though, it seems that both parties had agreed that the railway would be liable if they had negligently, unskillfully, insufficiently and improperly made, constructed and maintained the bridge. So in this case the court didn't have to decide whether negligence was a cause of action. The parties just assumed that it was and the court seemed happy to proceed on that basis. So this case didn't really see the start of negligence law. However, it was cited in Donoghue and Stevenson as a precedent which showed that negligence could form a cause of action under the common law. It therefore provided part of the logical basis for the development of the law of negligence. This case is also notable because much of the case note is one monstrously long sentence, over 700 words long. I don't know whether to be impressed or appalled. <laughs>